Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we've made a potentially terrible decision and I think I just saw a comment pop up about something about how you can like really change power in the veil and I'm like ha, 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 ha. oh my gosh it's not even like they're actually eating saltuna anymore like somebody pointed out in my stream forever ago that that they, there were bug carcasses in there. And she was saying, too, like, we're putting not saltuna in there, so the machine doesn't really know what to do, and et cetera, et cetera. And now I have to go face my, uh, my demons. I guess. It's not just gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Oh, jeez, you scared me again. It's not gonna be like, and now you can go get your little machinery piece and and be off. It, nope, that is not that is not what it wants me to do. That marauder camp respawned. I was I was willing to make this walk of shame instead of fast traveling. But if you're gonna throw enemies at me, who are respawning in these places, I'm just gonna peace out. Okay, I feel like this is... No? Oh, jeez, there's something over there. Reed Thompson. Oh, hey, did you... Can I talk to you? Is that it? I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be alright now they got power, but... She's calling me Captain? Town. All those people... But I know. Listen, they can go to the deserter camp. If she hasn't let them in, we'll beat her up. That appears to be our MO. I don't know. I'm. It's like it's frustrating that the game is making me pick between two terrible options. You know, it's like stick with the status quo and you'll feel less bad. Like I feel bad for doing this, and like sticking with the status quo is often easier and like makes you feel less bad because you're like, oh well, this is how things have always been, but that doesn't mean that's how they should stay. You know. And maybe it's, I'm being too idealistic about the deserter camp. Maybe they'll all crumble and whatever. Although, uh, maybe I should have gone to Adelaide. Oh, well, it's whatever. I should have probably gone to Adelaide. But maybe I can still talk to her after this. I feel like I'm gonna have to, like, fight my way through the town or something. I don't know. Is it, it's very deserted? Where is the... I thought I heard somebody cough. Oh. Yo, what up? Uh, I definitely don't know, oh, definitely don't know what's going on. This is, oh, weird. Oh, hi. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters. Cavalcade. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Um... Teach you a lesson. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. He's gonna, like, come back with some BS as well. You're all slaves to Spacer's Choice. I'm liberating you. That's not my, that's not my decision. Like, I, you could look at it that way, but it's not, it's not, it's not really, I don't know. Adelaide had the right idea. I think that's more along the lines of what it is. Like, it, like personal freedoms and I don't know I don't know there's arguments either way uh it's it's kind of these two um Adelaide had the right idea I had to make you see that Adelaide Adelaide wants nothing more than to see this town suffer to see me suffer all you've done is satisfied her hatred whatever you were hoping to find down here I advise you to turn around and leave 
I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Ooh, I can intimidate, call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. Aww. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Level up, yay. I don't know. I didn't really see it as them as Adelaide hating them, but maybe the obviously the, both NPCs have said that now, so there's there's definitely some truth to that, I'm sure. I just I don't know. she saw what was a corrupt system and wanted to do something different. I don't know. So that's where I'm at with that. I don't know. I don't think there's there's not a right or a wrong decision to any of this, but there's definitely blowback and fallout from any decision you could have made. It is so freaking dark, I can't see anything. I'm kind of curious. Is Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Mm hmm. All right, well. Mm, yeah, that's a nice way to start the game out. They're like, you're a terrible person no matter what choice you make. <laughs> I don't know. Is that guy? Oh, and that, that's his shirt. I was like, does he have like a gazillion tattoos? It's really pretty. Yeah, I don't know. You get, I feel like, and I'm not, obviously not a freaking like, poli sci major or anything or student of that i just you know have basic stuff that i've picked up and read about on my own but you could tear this game apart like in a good way right like they've obviously done their homework on like all the implications and whatnot or all the like like the political and scientific theories that they're utilizing in here like i don't remember the names of most of them but Like, they all have, like, you know, like, ah, what do you call it? Like, genres, types they're associated with that you can, like, look up in, like, a friggin', like, philosophy rubric, essentially. And, uh, like, a poli-sci. What am I trying to do? I am looking at the map, and I want to go see... Can I not fast travel while near... What hostiles? I just want to go talk to Adelaide. Put a point over here. Oh my gosh, just put a point! Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Oh, I can't? I can't put a point down. Whatever. All right, am I far enough away now from hostiles? No, oh wait, <laughs> I didn't want to go to the power plant. No, now we have to go through these loading screens, which will take forever. I also kind of am like, I don't know. My decision is, like, for whatever I, you know, all this stuff with the power regulator is, like, I just want to get off this planet, you know? Which is, that's just me. Like, I would hope I would be a better person in real life and not just do it for myself. But it's a video game, so, like, legit, like, your only option, right, is, like, to carry the, the game on. Like, I mean, you could turn the game off, I guess, but, like, I don't know. You gotta progress the game somehow, and these are the only decisions you've got. I mean, I feel like he could send a, he could send an, a message, but I, and try to get them, get the people out, but I feel like if it's a failed colony, they're just gonna be like, the cheaper alternative is to just let it die, essentially, you know? Like, people and everything. Hello? Is nobody here? Is 
This is a little weird, is it? What is, what is this? Oh! Where are the people? Oh. Well, there's you. Where's Adelaide at? Just kind of assumed she'd be in here, unless she's in here somewhere and I just can't see her. Because I'm... Oh, there you are! Right, hey! You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. Yeah. You really have it in for Reed. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story so, as you need to hear. I feel like she has a pretty good reason to hate him. Uh, Megan... It won't bring your son back? I mean, she knows the... What, what happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. And a lot more mouths to feed. Not as many as you'd think. We're not about to let the whole town join our flock. Just the ones willing to renounce their corporate loyalties and live the way nature intended. I mean, she's maybe going... I am curious. Mm. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. I mean, like, she's a, maybe maybe she's on the other end of the spectrum, right? Where, like, the corporate life is bad, but, like, trying to be like, oh, we're going back to nature, like, is not potentially going to work either, you know? And it's, it's just, it could, it could potentially be another extremist view, which is dangerous, you know? But I feel like change needed to happen here, and even though it was, like, it sort of a radical change, like, I don't know, it didn't, something needed to happen. Uh, between your camp, read your camp and reads cannery. Yours is the better way of life. I, I think it's true. I think hers is better. Just, it's it's less bad. You know. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. Borg. You're ah. welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. All right. Well, off to my ship then. I can't think of anything else I want to be doing, so we're gonna go. I have my two companions that I was supposed to acquire here. I'm really glad I didn't have to acquire that crazy outlaw girl, because I'd have been like, no. <laughs> what is up with that mouth? Oh my gosh. It's like, oh, I'm a low flying frog alien predator thing. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Snake, alien frog, bunny snake, bat. I'm out. Oh, maybe I should have. This your ship? Ah! Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't oh, last a yeah, girl. without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. So? Uh, there's deserves left Edgewater behind, nothing keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But. Of course! Can I come with you? I've already considered it. I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. I, she'd love to meet you, And if I'm you sure. ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Heck yeah! Uh... 
Uh, although I, I am kind of interested about this question. You just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I had my misgivings about Miss McDevitt and the deserters, but you took pity on them and sent power to their garden, even though you knew Mr. Thompson would hate you for it. All this time, you've been determined to get your regulator back, get your ship up and running, and cut a path out of this place. And well, I want it. She wants out. <laughs> uh, you really want out of Edgewater that badly? Not much of an Edgewater left. That's true. Uh -huh. My whole life's been small. I realized that when you walked into town. I've been seeing the same faces every day, the same sky, the same stars. Then I saw this ship. This gorgeous, stately lady with her eyes turned skyward, and... I made up my mind to come along with you. Dang, she sounds like the protagonist of a story by herself, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like you're in this humdrum town, and then like you've seen the same thing every day, and then something new comes in, and you're like, you're like, can I have, could I have something new too? Like, could that be something I can have? So, heck yeah, I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. Ah, there we go. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. I got a captain. <laughs> her face, too. She's like, oh, I got a captain. Um, I think when I asked her, when I talked to her earlier, she said she called me Captain, and I it felt like that was maybe a talk, air quotes, that we were supposed to have on the ship. Um, I hope the guy's in here, the, the, the guy, the priest. Okay, there you are. Well... I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Mm hmm As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? Um... Any ideas we can find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate... Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who ah. fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Where do we find him? Oh yeah, is there only one guy in this whole colony can translate French? The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they hey, are man. fluent in it. I, I see the snark. <laughs> it will be reflected in your review. A thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. Uh huh. Now, as far as tracking down this scholar, I was hoping that was sarcastic. We should start on the groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra Two. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system oh, you keeps know a that? registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How is it that a simple vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? He mentioned that he has hacking skills. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. <laughs> I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Uh-huh, okay. I will crew manifest, help us track down your scholar friend. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Wait, I'm not done with you. Come back here. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? What's occupying your thoughts? Uh... I'd like to know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Uh, uh, okay. What? Yeah, what is? what does that mean? Uh, that's what my parents called it. Ah! I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Hmm. 
Um, were they not religious? On the contrary. Oh. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless oh, of the situation. But they didn't have to explain I it. That. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. Uh, but weren't they proud when you became a vicar at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted oh, my lot. Oh, the like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. Uh, <coughs> you can't help but follow the plan, and everything you do is a part of it, right? That's kind of yeah. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go. It's like an unbreakable elastic band. Ah. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Interesting, interesting. Um, seems quite trusting of you to just sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope. And you were my only hope of getting it translated. If the book doesn't have the answers you're looking for. I honestly don't know what I'd do. This quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I fear there's nothing else left to me. What about you? Oh, What's dang. your story? What is my story? <sighs> I'm a thrill seeker and lover of great renown. Uh, you know, I'll just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I like these, these are funny, but uh, I was calling some the hope. A scientist named Wells saved me. And how did he do that? Uh, he stole my body from the hope at the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colony. He's very calm. Let's pretend for the moment oh, I believe Frank. you. What are you going to do now? What do you mean? You don't believe me. What? Uh, oh, yeah, I am helping recover more of the chemicals he needs to send the rest of the colonists. <laughs> that seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been I mean, I don't know, you? man. It just got thrown at me, really, honestly. I, just, I was just chucked in a pod and thrown down here with very minimal direction. And he just kind of, it just kind of went whoosh. It was whoosh. Uh, because it's the right, I had family on the hope. Because it's the right thing to do. I mean, it is. My friends, family... I had family on the hope. Oh, I see. You have my condolences. Uh, talk about this personal quest of yours? Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Crownbreaker? Where is all this? Or my, uh, it's the plan. Okay, let's see. I, I know I can level up, calm down. Um, I don't think it's anywhere here. It's gotta be somewhere else on the planet? Somewhere else on the planet? Return my sheep, companion quest, empty man. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be somewhere else. Because I've not heard of the Groundbreaker. And I don't see anything in my vicinity. Um. Alright. Okay, hang on, let's level up really fast. What do I want to do? Ten guns, long gun. All right, we're up to coward duration plus seven seconds. Okay. Uh, stealth is bad. I'm bad at stealth. Inspiration. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, let's uh, let's just. Oh, never mind. Uh. Uh. How many points do I have? We'll do twenty-five, and then. One handed in ballet. I'm not even close. The two, but it's the two handed melee that I'm more interested in. I'll just, I'll just not put anything into stealth. Everything else, I'm like, oh man, this is, oh yeah, this is cool, this is cool, but it's uh, apparently just gonna be. No, I'm not stealthing in this game. I have, I, like I said before, I've played, oh, um, fly. Oh, hitting enemies in different locations during the thing cripples or maims those body parts. Oh, <laughs> hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Okay. Level seven, how exciting. Oh, that's a codex entry. All right. All right, ship. Old unreliable. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh, you know. Just doing, doing my job. What do for you, Captain? I have a power do regulator. You know how to install a power regulator? No, but I have some. Well, actually, I probably do. Ha ha, I do. Ha ha. Oh, <laughs> Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Shh. Hush, Our my girl. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. I have Parvati if I needed to, but I could be like, hey, help me. But I'm good at engineering. This is fun to be smart. I'm super good at it. Look at me. I am so good. Take it to anywhere. Now we can go places! Woo! Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Look out. I actually need to get down there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move. Are you, are you following me or what? You just... Do you Have you picked a spot to hang out in? Where are you? Why are you following me? Does she follow me through the ship? Because she's my oh she is she is my allocated companion right now so yeah I'm used to games where they don't follow you in the ship because they're companions and they just hang out in their rooms and stuff I don't know maybe because that is close to the engine rooms so maybe that is where she wants to chill out oh there see you were not not behind me there for a second I think it was because of the ladder what can I do for you captain. I've installed power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. What's acceptable? I'm prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. I've been playing squadrons. I'm good at flying. Let's go! Oh, finally! <laughs> With this majestic ship. That's about to blow up. It would be so funny if the game just was like... And like everything you just dropped. It would be really cruel, but it would be kind of funny. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. It's such an ugly ship, I love it. Like, it's so bulbous. This is not a ship designed for atmospheric flying. It looks, I mean, it looks like it's designed to be a cargo vessel. All those bulbous cargo holds, you know? And it is not aerodynamic at all. This is this is a supposed to be space basically only, except for when you you're landing. A communication request from Doctor Phineas Wells. Hey, it's that guy. Uh, okay, what does he want? Ah, there you are, hale and hearty, and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by I the way? I already told Ada. I lost Ada. track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? What? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. I assure That's you. That's disgusting. 
I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that. Yes, um, that's probably permanent. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure my lifespan's been shortened what by, like, What you saw in Emerald Vale years. is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You is need that, to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. Oh, she good. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. I can travel to Phineas's lab. Bang. Okay, that's cool. Um, why do I need a nav key to land on our planet? No, you slow down. You're asking me to get involved with the black market? Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her, Her smuggling, smuggling credentials? credentials are unimpeachable. Okay. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Oh, I don't need a lab nav key to land on a planet. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Okay. Terraformed badly and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Okay. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Of course Your not. navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Why don't they want people flying in there? To see all their terrible things? Also, like, if people could solve this pro- Well, okay, here's the thing. It's like, I guess, if, if the hope hadn't been- lost essentially unless it was probably it was probably lost intentionally because the board didn't want these smart people apparently coming in and fixing the problems and saying hey here's how they messed everything up and here's how we can do it better they might just be trying to let their interests out here die out that's kind of weird but like i guess in the end harshly it could be cheaper to do that you know just cut your losses and run but but dang and also, I don't know, if these people can make it on their own, I feel like, uh, part of me is like, these people could probably figure out a solution, which obviously some have. Like, that's just what we encountered with the deserters. But also, they've been, like, brainwashed. And, like, they've, they've not been given the tools or the know-how on how to, like, help themselves almost, you know? Like, it would take something really out of the ordinary for that to happen. So, yeah, getting a little influx of new people in with different ideas could really, really help. But and let, only if people were willing to accept that help, you know? Uh, can't I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. I've survived a lot. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Thanks, Trust thanks. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Okay. All right. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting uh -huh. edge technology years ahead of its time. Oh, yeah? I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I hope it doesn't make any physical alterations. Tell me what it is. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to oh, mimic that of another. That's not problematic. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. Uh huh. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. But what if it's a different size than me? People will fall for this. It seems far-fetched. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Okay, you mentioned the thing out of limitations. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound oh. to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. So stand like a statue. 
Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Oh, dang. Maintain your distance. It's Act a biometric scan. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. <laughs> if they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. The game's like, no, really, don't do it. For reals. Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? A la, what's this, Hitman? <laughs> a change of clothes. Listen. What is this? Some old spy serial? It worked for what a long time. What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? Hitman's got some words for you. The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Oh, oh no, how? Yeah, how does it do that? Science, that's Science! All. <laughs> Science! Okay, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. Right, They'll no, I won't. They'll try to you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. Exactly. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. All right, thank you. Oh, jeez. We're in space! We're in space! I'm so excited. Oh, we're finally out and about, and pretty soon I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to land. But at least we're gonna be in a different place. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We're finally out of space. It's taken, uh, I guess this is only the 15th episode? It feels like it's taken forever, but it actually hasn't really taken that long. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.